Hey, this is Corey from Fueler Photos, and today I'll be reviewing DonMartinPhotography.com. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, I'm just letting this load and getting a first impression here. I like to look at these sites uh, for the first time live on the video so that I don't have any uh, biases coming in or preparation. I uh, want to mention that anything that I say here will be my opinion, but it is based on looking at hundreds and hundreds of photography websites and studying best practices and SEO and uh, web development, UX, and all those things extensively. So um, just one expert, but not definitely doesn't, that doesn't mean that everything I say is absolute truth. Uh, so keep that in mind. So the first thing I ask is, what is this website about? Well, I can see the baby images scrolling through here. So I first immediately say, okay, this is about babies. Um, you know, Don Martin, at first, that doesn't tell me much of anything. You know, I have to kind of get down here where I see newborn photography in the logo before I'm sure. And then if I look at the URL, obviously, I can see photography. So at that point, I start to think, okay, definitely this is a newborn photography site. Um, you know, so it's one of those things as photographers, often we think, well, it's obvious that's a photography site, but it's not always as obvious as you might think. Um, someone could be, okay, well, this is a site for newborn blankets or props or headbands or something like that. They may not know right away. So um, making that front and center would not be a terrible idea, but it's not, it is obvious enough that I can figure it out by looking at the domain and looking at the logo here. What service is offered and where? So newborn photography is obviously the service and where I have not figured out yet. Okay, up here I see Glasgow, um, newborn Glasgow, but I'm not sure if that's Glasgow, Russia, or if there's a city in the United States named Glasgow or what that means. So I have to, I'll have to find that out. I'm not sure yet. What's the first thing I want to do? So I want to, I, I mean, at first the controls make me want to kind of click on one of these arrows. I have, have arrow here, arrows here, and arrow here. Well, this tells me that it, there's probably something for me to scroll down. That's good. I'm glad you have at least something telling me that because at first I just see navigation, but this is flipping through. So if I would have seen this, I'm not sure I would have scrolled down. It's kind of instinctive for me, but Let's see. Oh, that's class gal, not class gal. <laughs> Just wasn't really paying attention. I saw it up there at a glance. Um, okay, so scroll down and I can see you know families living in Glasgow Edinburgh I'm gonna pronounce all of these things wrong so just forgive me for that studios in Glasgow it's great for most work but also travel okay so I like there's several links in here they kind of take me to different pages. My clients say, "Okay, so one thought right off the bat here is that you say you have what my clients say. And you just have one review. Uh, maybe put another one here, or make this sc scroll through a few reviews with some photos or something like that." You got an Instagram feed here, some social media quite a few city names phone number email address book your session here site credits okay well that's good okay so the, so the next thing I want to do I guess is find out more information about who you are Don Martin all right so that that worked as I expected, took me to an about page. Now, one thing to note here is that navigation has changed at this point. So we start with navigation on the left and we move to navigation at the top. Uh, I'm a little bit forgiving on that whenever it is consistent on every page except for the home page. 
But in general, I would prefer for it to be consistent on every single page, including the home page. Consistent navigation is important for people not to be disoriented whenever they visit your site. But in this case, again, I think it was pretty clear over here what's going on. I, I like this layout just fine. And here it still makes sense. Like it's still in a place that I would look for it. So it's not a big deal here. Okay, I'm just reading a little bit here to see. All right, and then I think I would want to look at a portfolio. Now, I've already seen some images on the home page. Let's see what happens here. So now I have newborn, little sitters, children, family. I like that. Okay, let's look at a family gallery. All right, this is easy enough. Images are loading quickly. Alright, that looks good. Uh, one suggestion here, you might have uh, some action that you want them to take after looking through this instead of going back up to the menu and trying to decide what to do next. Go ahead and give them exactly what you want them to do next. After they've looked at that, take them to something like book a family session now or get in touch about your family session or something like that underneath this slideshow. I think that would be kind of smart. Also, I would try to cut down a little bit of the spacing. It's a little too much at the top. Uh, I would bring this in you know, probably a little bit here and then a significant amount here. Maybe even make this bigger. Now as far as SEO goes, I try not to make these reviews too much about SEO, but of course I want to talk about it whenever I see something. Here you could even use a uh, like a more full keyword, like family photographer in um, Glasgow or whatever your main city, you know, family photographer, Edinburgh. I don't even know how you say that. I think maybe that's kind of right. <laughs> I know all of the English people watching are going to be ashamed of me. Um, okay, so yeah, that I would put it as a, a more a full keyword, especially if this is your H1. Let's go ahead and look. I'm not, I don't usually turn this on quite yet. Let's go ahead. Interesting. So this is an H1. Now, ideally, we want an H1 to be near the top of the page and be large text. Now, the page title here is just family. Again, this is an opportunity to add in some keywords and make this a little bit longer. Now, in search engines, let's actually, I'll just show you what this will look like. Okay, I'm seeing something else here. <laughs> just, I always uncover things and I just have to talk about them as I see them real quick. Um, you have this still set to the PP underscore gallery. So in Profoto 6, uh, if you just link to a gallery directly, then you get this kind of URL. But what you can do is just set up a page called family and then use the shortcode inserter to insert that gallery into the page called family. It'll look exactly the same, but you will get rid of this PP underscore gallery. Okay, so... Aside from that, let's go ahead and let me show you what happens if not cider site. So if this page shows up in a search engine right now, you just get family dash Don Martin and then you have very short meta description right here and you have this kind of you know not super friendly permalink. So what we would want is uh, family photographer uh, Glasgow Don Martin photography and then you would want this to not have the PBA gallery in it and you would want this to be a compelling sentence that makes people want to click um, you know let me capture those moments in your family's life are, are you looking for family photographer for Christmas cards or whatever it is that people are usually looking for you Make this stand out to the person who's searching. That's your meta description. Okay, let's go back. I don't want to get too much into the fine details of SEO. Um, all right, so 
let's go back to since we're talking about SEO I'm gonna go back to the home page actually there's one other thing I want to check out a couple other pages I want to I want to find pricing that's gonna be on my list of things to do so info newborn that was a lot of information that's good for someone who is booking a session still don't see any pricing information let's see if maybe that's under FAQ potentially um, session A, da, da, da. Require deposit, yes. I'm still not seeing anything about pricing. I may have skipped it. So, oh, prices, right here in the menu. Totally missed that. Okay, so this is straightforward. Tells me the, the prices and what's included, and then I can book. Oh, you have it right there. Okay, so actually the booking is just taking you to contact form. And they still have to ch choose. I like that you have your address listed here. Is this the contact page? It is the contact page. Okay, that's good. Let's see what this video is all about. Okay, so these are just some videos. See, things like this are good in a meta description. You can do something like that to catch people's attention when they see that tagline like that. That's something you believe. If they believe it as well, they're more likely to click. So, just a thought there. Okay, so let's go back to the home page for now. And we're going to look at a couple of main SEO things on the home page and then we will look at your site from a mobile perspective and uh, check the performance so as far as SEO on the home page we want to look at a couple of things we'll go ahead and turn the moz bar back on here okay so h1 page title meta description and we want to check alt text so it looks like you have good alt text going on here. That they're descriptive just like they should be. Yep, I like this a lot. Perfect. Let's see. Okay, so page title. Newborn Glasgow. So first thing that comes to my mind is I'm not sure that this is a keyword that people are using exactly like that so I'd have to do the research to know uh, but instinctively I would think I'm, I'm not sure that people search newborn Glasgow maybe newborn photography newborn photographer um, and, and I'm not sure what the search volume is like and whether you want to use this city or another city and you, know, you have Glasgow and Edinburgh here so I'm not sure exactly what the, the volume would be but that's something I would look into to see how people are searching because if they're searching for newborn or um, Glasgow newborn photographers then you want to use that exactly and then you don't want to do this where it's repeating Don Martin photography Don Martin, Martin photography uh, this probably has something to do with your um, SEO plugin settings now if if I'm not mistaken, this is the way that uh, Profoto 6 does the SEO settings. Let's see. I'm just going to do a quick way to check and see if you're using Yoast. Okay, you're not. Doesn't seem like it, at least. You could probably. Sometimes this will tell me. So you're not using Yoast, you may be using All-in-One or another plugin like that, but whichever one you're using, it's appending the site name onto the end of the page title. 
And when that happens, what you get is Don Martin photography, Don Martin photography. So again, you know, let's look at, let's just do this and we're going to type in uh, site colon. And we want to see here. So in this case, it looks like uh, Google is just rewriting the page title for you since this was the page title. It's just taking the site title and making it the page title. Interesting, huh? But I wonder what would happen if we typed in something like Yep, see now it gives us the full title. So that's something that's interesting to kind of observe is that Google can rewrite the page title based on the query. And in this case, it feels like it's important to show that newborn part because the newborn was in the query. And so it shows the full thing. But again, notice how it's repeating here. We don't want that necessarily. So I would say, uh, you know, maybe even look at your competition and see how they're wording things. Um, do some research. See, look, newborn photography, Glasgow is what Google is suggesting. We could probably see. Newborn Glasgow, so she's doing the same thing. And there you are. Newborn photographer Glasgow. Baby photography Glasgow. Photographers in Glasgow. I'm trying to see where that is. I'm not quite familiar. Okay. So I think there's some room for optimization here, and I would definitely do the keyword research to figure out um, where, what's the best way to put the keyword in here. But the page title is pretty important, so I would work on making sure that that is optimized. Meta description. Um, I'm, uh, so my opinion is that I don't prefer talking in uh, third person especially in something like a meta description if you're talking about like dawn it should be in first person in my opinion uh, if you're talking about the studio you can talk in third person uh, and so it's kind of tricky in this case because your name is the studio so you know it's acceptable just just a thought Yeah, I mean, and, and I don't hate this meta description. It's a little too long, so this part's probably going to get cut off, and I kind of like the ending of this. But I also like the fact that this tells me that you have a studio right off the bat. So if we go back to this, is it showing that part? Yeah, so, you know, that's something that really could be, you know, mobile service and studio. Those are, those are um, benefits to the client and that's exactly the kind of thing you want to fit into a meta description. So the meta description is not bad, and it gets cut off at an okay place. This kind of makes me curious, actually. But um, you know, like offers artistic newborn. What else? So that's not the worst thing ever. I would probably work on trying to fit that all into the 156 characters before it gets cut off, uh, just to be more intentional with it. And then we're winning Glasgow newborn baby photographer. So you have three different H1s, and it looks like it's this, probably this, yep, and this. They're all using the H1 tag. Uh, this is something that has been coming up a lot with Profoto 6 and the way it's using widgets. If you can control it, if this is part of a regular text and they're not separate widgets, then I would make the anything other than the first one an H2 or an H3 or just regular paragraph text. This is not a huge deal. I'm not going to go into that too much more. Um, this is a long title, but again, I don't necessarily dislike that. I just want to make sure that it's clear. So whenever I look at this as a user, what I'm going to say is award-winning baby 
portraits, you know, like I'm not going to read every word of this necessarily because it's too long. I'm going to skim it, but I got the words I needed out of that. So, and then you have other good words here. So I like the amount of text on the home page, and I, and I like the fact that you have a testimonial here. There's too much space right here for some reason, and I would like to see more than one testimonial if you're saying what my clients say, or at least maybe a link to a testimonials page or something like that. And your footer here, so you know it's debatable whether this is the kind of thing that helps, but because of the way that you have it formatted, uh, I think it could actually be helpful for so for visitors. I don't think this is like spammy for search engines. If it were like four times this many, or you know even double this many, and you know you were obviously just trying to spam search engines, I would say remove it. But in this case, you know it tells people where you are willing to work. The only thing it might do is if someone is right outside of one of these places, they might say, oh, well, you're not going to work for me. Uh, but in, in general, I think this is fine. I don't think it's going to help very much in ranking for these places. But in some cases, if it's not very competitive, it actually may help you rank for one of those places. OK, so let's not get into it. I don't have this uh, these reviews designed to really go into all of the SEO details in an organized fashion, so I just start rambling sometimes. Uh, if I'm doing an SEO audit, I have a full um, you know SEO audit worksheet that goes over all of these things in detail. But when I do these reviews, I just kind of talk about whatever comes up as I see it. Okay, so let's go ahead and well, two things. One, we want to check the performance here and then to whoops I closed all of them we want to uh, check from a mobile view so let's go ahead and get rid of the mouse bar go to this we're going to turn this to good 3g Save the cache, we're gonna refresh that. And refresh one more time actually. I like how you had that alt text there. Okay, I don't think I'm on the home page. So it's a little bit slow to load that image. So we can actually see here, we can go up to the top and so that's a 505 kilobyte, 389 kilobytes. So these are really large images. Uh, I would recommend sizing these down. You should be able to get that to at least half of that size. These, I mean, 389, you probably can get that down to half of that size, at least in the 200s, I would think with the right kind of optimization and compression. Uh, a really easy free one is jpeg.io, the website. There's several others, but this one's just really simple and does a good job. Um, and you can go in here, so it's going to tell us probably, wow, it, it tells us uh, only consider fixing images. On desktop, it's important, though. On mobile, I'm guessing it's pulling a smaller size. So that's a good thing about Profoto 6 is that uh, they are utilizing source set, which we were actually just talking about this in the Feel Your Photos group earlier. Um, so what it's doing is it's pulling a smaller image on mobile than on a desktop, and it's saying it's not as big of a deal on mobile. You're actually scoring better here because it's pulling more optimized images. But here, what we could do is go in and you could download these from Google directly right down here where it says download optimized images or you, like I said you can go through and take your images through something like jpeg.io and optimize them that way alright let's go back over here one more time we're just going to kind of look and see on mobile what I want to do is just scroll through the images a little bit have some text email I kinda want that to be a link and not a direct email 
like something that takes me to a contact form or the pricing page or something like that. There's a lot of text without any pictures here on mobile at first. Again, that's taking me to email. The menu works well and the mobile site is pretty easy to use. I was kind of expecting the links on the home page to take me to like the family gallery, but it took me to the family information page. Or maybe I just didn't read it fully to know that. That's where I was going to be taken. Again, I, I feel like I would like this to be something other than an email link. Something that takes me to the contact page. I love that you have the option to email you and and a contact. So I like that you have you can call, you can email. All right. I guess you don't have an email address listed here, but you have it down here. All of that is great, but I feel like whenever I have that book the session button and I don't know what it's going to do, I'm expecting it to take me to a page instead of um, opening up an email. Okay, so overall, uh, you know, you have a lot of really good things going on on your site. I've talked about a lot of random little things. I think for the most part, like the big changes that I would make on your site are going to be in optimizing these images a little bit. And that's just because you have such large images here on desktop. Um, and then really it's going to be about being more intentional with your words. So I like the fact that I like the fact that you have a lot of words here, but uh, I think you could probably get a little more intentional with how you use them. I also think that there's some opportunities for you as far as basic SEO. If you go to the, the YouTube channel, which I guess you're kind of on maybe watching this video, um, the main Feel Your Photos YouTube channel, I have a video that's something like the top five places to put your keywords on your site, and it talks about you know title, meta description, uh, body copy h1 those things and so I think in your case it's going to be a matter of doing keyword research figuring out exactly which words people are using and perhaps you've already done that and newborn Glasgow is the way to go to me I mean if, if someone searches for that I don't think that they're necessarily searching for a photographer they could be searching for a wide variety of things so I would want newborn photographer Glasgow in there personally, but I haven't done the research to see what kind of search volume there is on any of those words and how people are actually typing it in. So uh, I think that's probably the main thing I would do is do some research and then make sure you're using those. And then on your internal pages as well, you know, you're just having like about, but this could have the keyword in it about Don Martin photography, you know, Edinburgh, uh, newborn photographer or something like that. You can use other keywords on these other pages potentially uh, and just have more opportunities to rank for different keywords and support the main keyword. So so really that's kind of my thought. It's it's pretty easy to use. You know, I've already said the things about like switching navigation. There's a few UX issues. There's a few spacing issues. You know, there's a block of text here that's a little bit hard to read all or to, to skim all at once and you have things like you know not having multiple testimonials when you use like what my clients say but, but other than that I mean I think the site it shows off your work which is really beautiful and it makes me very interested by seeing your work immediately I do like the way that you have that laid out so so good job on your site, and if you have questions about any of the stuff that I've said, which has been a lot and kind of got a little bit rambly there for a minute, just feel free to go over to the Feel Your Photos Facebook group and ask any questions that you have uh, or email me back or anything like that. 
If anyone else is watching and wants their site reviewed, just go to fuelyourphotos.com slash reviews and fill out the form there and I will add you to my waiting list and uh, do these free reviews. Uh, try to do one per day approximately, uh, at least five days a week. So, yep, you can do that. Subscribe to the YouTube channel and uh, you'll get the updates whenever I put out new reviews in the future. All right, talk to you all again soon.